Life Centers indicate a new episode of Dave's Vintage Apple Tech has just been uploaded. Hi guys, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech, and today we're going to be making some decals for the Franken Mac. And uh, I'm going to show you guys step by step how to do it. So um, we're going to get set up for it, and uh, I'll be right back. So when you make your own decals, uh, you can do them uh, with the um, it's a special paper you get, and I'll give you the, the website uh, to go to on the video here. But these happen to be uh, clear. Uh, they're on a white background, and these are water set decals. So what that means is after you do it and you treat the image with the uh, Krylon clear acrylic uh, spray, uh, you put it in water and it'll slide right off the backing of the paper here and you can affix it to whatever surface you want to do. So anyway, so first things up is uh, you want to have your artwork, okay? And so if you notice uh, on mine, you'll see there's, there's a little artifacting right here and I'm not worried about that. Again, this is all going to be clear, so whatever is white, that's going to be clear on the inside. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and just clean up the edges a little bit on it. It's no big deal. It's really easy to do. And then uh, I've already started doing one decal already, and I've already given it two coats. And then when I trim it, then I'll give it a third coat just to make sure that all the edges are sealed. And then we'll let it set for about an hour, and then we can actually affix it to the uh, Frankenmac. So anyway, so you have your artwork there, and then you can print it whatever size you want. Um, for me, um, I'm just going to uh, go here to print, real, real simple here, and I'm gonna do this one right here where it says fit, and you wanna print, put your printer setting on photo, glossy, paper fine, the highest resolution you can get, all right? And then what we're gonna do is we're going to insert the, uh, decal paper so let me go get it ready for you here okay so i got one here all ready to go all right and you can see it's shiny uh you can do whatever texture you want i'm going to do the flat finish i just don't like it too shiny uh it'll look more like it's part of the case rather than really sticking out like a sore thumb but if you want it satin or gloss you can do that too so anyway so what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the printer here just like photo paper uh, you want to put the shine um, on my printer. This is an HP uh, printer. You're going to put the uh, photo side, or excuse me, I'm sorry, you're going to put the glossy side down, okay, because when it prints, it's going to be tumbling it and it'll be printing on the other side here. Make sure you put your best edge forward. If you've got a lot of little bumpies, sometimes it can actually scratch the image. Okay, okay so we're going to uh, insert the tray here. You don't have to pull the tray all the way out, I just did it to, to show you here. And so we're going to stick this in here. Okay, it's all the way in there. And then what we're going to do is we are going to print it. All right. So now we're going to print. And uh, like I said, make sure you have it on glossy paper, the photo paper. And I have it on fine, the finest that I can do. And we're going to hit print. And uh, we're going to hit print. And so now it's going to come out on the printer here. And there we go. And be real careful. And this is like uh, any photo paper. You gotta let it set for a little bit there. You don't wanna touch it. You can smear it. You give it a couple of minutes, it'll be nice and dry. So now what we're gonna do, now you see how shiny this is, okay? It won't be shiny anymore once we're done because we're gonna spray that Kryolon acrylic 
clear coat on it and it's a flat finish and it'll look it'll look perfectly smooth but you can see the little bit of artifacting will clean that up but what we're going to do now is we're going to let this sit for about a, 10 minutes and then we're going to go out and we're going to spray it with the cryolon and I'll show you how we're going to do that now here's the one that I did earlier and you can see um, it's it's really dull looking okay see if I get it in the light it doesn't have reflection on it. it's very dull it's very matte looking and then you go to this one here and you can see how sh see how shiny that paper is there see and this is going to dull it all down so anyway uh we're going to do that one and like i said this is has this has two coats on it i will uh, cut it all out and then i'll give it a final spray let it sit for a couple hours then we'll actually put it in the water and put it on the uh, franken neck all right so that's what we're going to do we're going to spray this here in a second here okay guys so we're going to spray it here and um, like I said, we're going to go over it lightly and uh, I'm just, just going to, I'm just going over the image here, okay? And that's it. Now we're going to let that sit for about 10-15 uh, minutes and we'll hit it with another coat. Okay guys, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out a little bit here. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with just some small regular scissors. And I want to make sure that you can see me in here so all right so what we're going to do is i'm going to just cut all this off here and this is this is dried for about uh oh it's been over an hour so it's plenty dry and i'm just going to cut this so i can handle it easier here okay guys so I got the first one done here and uh, it's all cut out and it's the only thing it's got to do is we just got to give it a third coat and then when it dries then we'll be, be ready to apply it and uh, it's gonna look really good like I said all the areas that are white they will be clear and uh, so let's see here real quick here uh, let's get this here all right, let's see how this is gonna how this is gonna look here. Let's see. I think it's gonna look pretty good. Let's see here, to there. It'd be like that, and I can do it like that. I can orient them a little bit. I can skew them a little bit. I might. Skew, I'm not sure how I'm gonna put them on. I, I cut them. I left them separately so I could arrange it a little differently if I wanted to. It's gonna look really good. Um, It'll even look better because, like I said, none of that white background or any of that white stuff that's on that black will be on there. So, all right. So what we're going to do is uh, the other one that we did is all dry right there. That's all dry. It's had two coats on it and it's uh, dry enough. We can start uh, cutting this one out too. So that's what we're going to do. And like I said, some of this I'll show on here and then some of it, uh, you know, obviously I'm not going to show because it's pretty repetitious, but you... You guys get the idea. So we're going to do that here in just a second here. Okay guys, so we're, we're working on the second one now. We've we're, we're got quite a bit uh, cut down on it. And um, so like I said, we're just going to finish kind of trimming things out on it here. And then when we come back, we're going to respray these here, give them a good coat. We'll let them dry for an hour or two. And then we're going to be able to apply them on the... Uh, Frank and Matt case here. So we'll be back in a few. Okay guys, so they are all cut out. And so we are ready for the final clear coat on them. So that's what we're gonna do. So let me get these set up in the, our little ghetto spray booth and uh, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so we're gonna do the last coat on it here. And uh, we're just gonna spray it here. Now this is what I was afraid of here. So we just kind of go like this a little bit. So not that we don't want them to touch the other one. All 
All right, I think we're good. So we we're gonna let these dry for a couple hours and then we're gonna put them on the case. Okay guys, so it's been about five hours later and the decals are all dried uh, with that third coat on there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some warm water. We're gonna get these ready to uh, put on the case. It's gonna look pretty darn good, I think. So let me, um, let me go get some water and uh, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so we're going to put the decals in the water here. And um, it's gonna take about a minute for these to uh, soften up and, and slide off. So we're just gonna put them in here and we're gonna let them do their thing. I'm gonna put, uh, just gonna put two in here. So that way, because uh, if I put all of them in there, it's gonna be a mess. So we're just gonna let these uh, get soaked up here for water. Okay guys, so we're just we're just about there. So what you want to do first is you want to take a paper towel, kind of wet your case a little bit here, so that way you can kind of slide it around a little bit and you're less likely to get that way you can get the air bubbles out of it a little easier. And we're just about ready to come off of here. Um, so I'm gonna do very carefully. Okay, we're gonna lay this on here, like so. Okay. Rotate it here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda position it here a little bit. And that's why we wetted the case so we can kinda move this a little bit. Okay guys, so we got the decals on here. And I did run into an issue uh, with these. They're not staying on there like they should be. Um, I, these were the, this was the first side. I kind of messed this one up. I'm gonna probably make that word over again. But this side, I just put these on. And uh, they are, um, like I said, they're, they don't wanna lay down real good on here. So, I'm gonna try something out. When, in modeling, you get a lot of models that's got like a lot of regular curves and stuff and decals get air pockets and bubbles. So I got some stuff, it's called Solve Set. Uh, and we put that on there and that will make that lay down there and grab onto it. So that's what I'm, gonna, that's what I'm going to get right now. And I'll show you how that works, we'll be right back. Okay guys, so we have, um, we have Microsol and we have Microset. The difference is Microset is the same solution for decals. <clears throat> Excuse me. It softens them and it improves adhesion. It also removes decals too. And then the Microsol is a little more heavy duty. It's it's also a setting solution, but it softens decals to conform to irregular surfaces for a painted on look. So that's what we're gonna hopefully do. We might have a big mess here. I don't know how this is gonna react, so we will find out. So we're just gonna use a paintbrush here. We're gonna get some Microsol on it here. And we're just gonna brush it on. It won't hurt the plastic, so don't worry about that. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna apply this here. We're gonna get it nice and stuck down here. And this will also get rid of the, if you have any air bubbles too, this will actually uh, a lot of times get rid of them too. It's pretty amazing stuff. But this is what we use in the model industry. And if, and, and if you already have put models, I'm sure you're already familiar with this stuff here. So uh, that's what we're gonna do now. So we're just gonna put this on uh, quite liberally here.
Okay guys, so the <clears throat> the decals are pretty well all done. Uh, I put a little bit more of that uh, solid set on it. There was a couple of air bubbles, but other than that, it looks fantastic. They came out really good. And uh, got them on both sides there. Now this one here has some cracks in it, but that's when I kept taking it off and on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new one and stick on there, but that looks perfect there. That looks good there. So yeah, guys, you know, had a little trouble applying those. They didn't want to stick, so we used that modeler's uh, solve set there. And like again, this is the the micro set, and then this is the micro saw, and this is the one that I use because this will help it really adhere good and get all the regularities, and it gets rid of all the air bubbles. This one here is works really good. It makes it more adhesive, but like when you get something that really, really is hard to stick down on the cover then this here works great okay and i'll put links on here where you can get this stuff so it's pretty pretty good stuff so yeah guys so anyway uh so that's very successful and uh as you look over here um let me just roll this camera around here you can see uh the poor machine's all in all pieces all over the counter here over my workbench there's the mac mini there and there's the monitor and there's the way there in the shelf back where all the glue is, the airport antennas there, and just all kinds of stuff here. And of course, and there's the case for the Mac Mini over there. And I took the back of that display off here. In fact, I'll show you that real quick here. Um, so I went ahead and just took the speakers off the back of it. And this is what it looks like uh, without that back plate on it. And speakers on a back plate but i got doing some calculations and stuff and i think i might be able to get a 10 inch monitor in here if i can get the same type uh that'll save me a lot of grief so that way my thought was to take and just uh take this here and blow this out all the way to the edge here so it's all going to be flush that should give me plenty of room I take and then I'll take that bezel off so the display's right on it and that should bleed it right up to the edge there. So I think a 10 inch will work. Uh, I can't seem to find a nine inch. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can find a 10 inch. And if I can, I will order it. And then we will put that in. I'll, like I said, I'll strip it down like this one, even a little bit more if we have to. And uh, we might have to modify these. I know we'll have to modify the inside of this a little bit more to, to accommodate it. But I think that will solve a lot of issues to being a bigger monitor. <clears throat> being a bigger monitor. So, anyway, guys, um, that's how you make decals. And I'll put links on there where I got the stuff at. Um, and uh, like I said, we're we're making slow progress with this. And. Um, I want to tell you something guys we have been stuck at 92 subscribers haven't gained any for oh, about two weeks now so just remember the microphone giveaway is still going on so please subscribe you get your chance to win that beautiful USB Yeti microphone with the free uh, software coupon to get the, uh, the audacity software with it so anyway uh, yeah guys so anyway you guys have a great weekend this is Sunday and this has been another Dave's Vintage Apple Tech episode, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.